Hi, everyone. I just got word that Christina Beauchamp's channel was taken down. Christina, last name B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P. It is such a wow in a bad way, <laughs> in a gut-wrenching way, to suddenly come across a notification from YouTube that all of your hard work has disappeared. Gone. Community guideline violations? That's what brought down Christina's channel? Really? No. There were no community guideline violations. YouTube did not like the content. And the content on Christina's channel? Well, you know, my, my opinion was the videos, very interesting, thought-provoking. Many of the videos, Christina was analyzing uh, the murals in Oregon, really pointing out how Oregon, the satanic hold on Oregon, it is right in your face if you take a look at the murals in these public buildings or in the universities or colleges in, universe, um, in Oregon. She also posted videos on Gematria. There was nothing that violated any community guideline. No profanity, no nudity, no sexually explicit material, no graphic violence, nothing. And when, when your society suddenly has no standards whatsoever. There are no standards. YouTube claims to have community guidelines. What is the guideline? Well, they point out no nudity, no profanity, uh, no hate speech. That, well, <laughs> how you, they don't even define what hate speech is. So, frankly, my now just expressing what is taking place on YouTube, YouTube can consider that hate speech and get rid of me. They've gotten rid of Kafka Winston World. They've gotten rid of so many channels. And then you see other channels come right back and wow, YouTube, <laughs> they don't even have, they wipe clean all of their community guideline and, 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 uh, Copyright strikes? Why? For what reason? Oh, I got a good attorney. Really? But then you come across Prager University. They had good attorneys, but the judge ruled against Prager U, dismissing their case, their lawsuit against YouTube. The judge ruled against Prager University. Prager University, founded by Dennis Prager, a conservative talk show host. Prager University had a channel, Prager U, on YouTube. And YouTube decided that 50 of their videos were had some violation of their guidelines or that they should be age-restricted. Why? Their videos, they were like five minutes with a lot of policy analysts and experts discussing, addressing subjects ranging from religion, politics, world affairs. Absolutely no profanity, absolutely no nudity, absolutely no guideline was violated, but YouTube clearly did not want that viewpoint to get out and circulated. So they restricted PragerU's videos. And when you're in restricted mode, when YouTube dumps your videos into restricted mode, very few get to see them. It's a form of censorship. But this judge, in this case, decided it, YouTube is not a state actor. 
It is not a government entity. It is a private entity and therefore cannot be held liable for any First Amendment speech violations. YouTube has the right, since it is a private entity, to uh, make decisions and regulate its content however it so chooses. YouTube is not just a private entity. YouTube, having been taken over by Google, is a monopoly. Yes, there are other sites that are uh, coming on board in the cyberland, but unfortunately, those sites, not a lot of people know of them. So if you want information to be disseminated as largely as possible, have that information circulated and reach large numbers, you go to YouTube. Because when people are just, quote unquote, waking up to reality, where do they go? They go to YouTube. All right, that's kind of stamped in everybody's mind now. YouTube and Google. Hey, Google it. Google it. And Google certainly is a monopoly. But government will never break up these monopolies because government is right smack in there collecting all the information on every individual that has an account on YouTube. Everything we write, everything that we say is being collected and stored by government. We all know this. We also know that our intelligence agencies had a huge and still have a very heavy footprint in all of the social media platforms that are giants. We know that InQtel is a CIA front that funnels taxpayer money into other tech companies. We know that Google and YouTube and they're just eating up all of the smaller companies everywhere that they can buy up another company they do. Look, this is to say that YouTube is a private entity is clearly false. It's a false interpretation. They restricted PragerU's videos due to its conservative viewpoint. Look, we all know that this is happening, so... Prager University also has a lawsuit against Google. They trying to break up the monopoly. Do you think that PragerU is going to win? No, I don't. Because tyranny started cementing itself in this country years ago. And its hold now is evident. It's clear. Now, Prager used complaint, their legal complaint that they filed against YouTube states clearly that their videos contained no profanity, no nudity, no content that was in violation of any guideline of YouTube's. And the judge didn't even address that point. Completely ignored it. It can do whatever it wants to do. So, the judge completely ignoring that claim that YouTube, not only is it censoring conservative viewpoints, it is also violating its own policy in terms of these community guidelines. So YouTube can violate its own policy, can do whatever the hell it wants to do. 
the judge essentially said, YouTube can operate with no standards. When you have no standards, the, it, it's virtually impossible to then fight against those who deny you your rights. And this is the world that has been deliberately created. When you have no standards, when you have people who believe, hey, I can define my own words. I don't have to use a dictionary. Hey, I can say that you have violated a guideline when you clearly have not. And I can just arbitrarily, indiscriminately bring back channels and then not bring back channels for there's no clear reason. How do you even communicate anymore when you have descended into complete and utter chaos? I this is not good, guys. It's so not good. It is so heart-wrenching to the individuals who have this happen to them. And then when you see this taking place on a collective level, this kind of censorship, did you know that there was a walkout of students who support the Second Amendment? Did you know this? I didn't. I didn't hear about this, though I don't have a TV and I don't uh, really know much about what's going on on mainstream media news. But about 75 students at Rockledge High School in Central Florida walked out of class in support of the Second Amendment on Friday. And the students walking out, they felt that their view was silenced. And it was. Mainstream media? They are just parading all of these kids who are voicing their viewpoint on gun control. Yes, we've got to get rid of uh, automatics. We've got to have gun control. But the students who clearly are students who critically think, who, who say, look, this junior at this high school said, I wouldn't mind deeper background checks, of course, but the Second Amendment will not be infringed upon. I'm pro-Second Amend Amendment. And another student said, I support the right to bear arms. And another student, thank God, said that it's not about guns. It's about the people who use them. But this won't be, this won't, these students won't be paraded because there's an agenda. And the agenda is to take away all of our rights, Second Amendment rights, First Amendment rights, and government's hand is throughout all of it. So, yeah, I do get comments from people saying, well, YouTube is a private corporation. They have a right to do whatever it is that they want to do, really. Well, then you are not very well informed and you need to do more research and really dig into who is behind all of these social media platforms. Why? Why are monopolies, clear monopolies like Microsoft, Google, Facebook, why are they allowed to operate and never do we break up monopolies anymore? Because we have had a corporate takeover. Our government is a corporation. Our government acts as a very immoral, corrupt corporation stealing your money to censor 
and destroy your rights. Censor your free speech, destroy your rights as an individual. And yeah, it's very upsetting to see this happening and very upsetting to see hardly anyone care that our freedom is being taken away from us.